Hi, welcome to the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. I'm your host, Dr. Luigi Groton, Vice President of Nutrition Education. During this module, we'll discuss cellular nutrition. We'll be helping you to understand the importance of eating small, frequent meals. Good nutrition at key points during the day can help keep up your energy all day long. The Western diet is a fast food diet filled with too many calories as well as saturated fats, but too little good nutrition. Too many people eating a typical Western diet eat a poor breakfast, a fast food lunch, and no afternoon snack. Their low energy makes it hard for them to perform at work in the late afternoon. And by the time they get home, they're so hungry they can eat everything in the refrigerator. So they eat a lot after dinner until they go to bed. No wonder so many people are overweight while feeling a sense of low energy. In this module, you'll not only learn what to eat, but when to eat to keep yourself on track to weight management with lots of energy. Let's get started on cellular nutrition. Welcome to the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. During this lesson, we'll be discussing the Western diet and how it relates to meal frequency and timing. Let's get started. All the organs of your body are made up of cells. To be effective, nutrition must get to all of the cells of your body. Cellular nutrition provides all the cells of your body with the nutrition you need every day. When we think of health and nutrition, only a few of us think of the cell. But actually, the cell is the source of the body's energy supply. It's what keeps you not only functioning at optimal health, but functioning at all. Cellular nutrition means that our bodies are nourished at the most basic level, the cells, the tiniest living units in the body. This allows the cells to grow, repair, and perform their functions with the best possible efficiency so that we feel and look better and are better able to prevent and fight disease. As we face epidemic numbers of people with obesity, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease, many people have started to question the role our modern diet plays in our health. There is no doubt that when you compare what we eat today to what our parents or grandparents ate, the changes are enormous. Mankind evolved on a plant-based diet in which most foods were fruits and vegetables. Today, the modern diet is much more limited and high in fat and sugar. Nutritional quality has long been inadequate in the modern human diet, but by recognizing that the human body is designed to consume the broadest possible range of foods, a healthier approach to nutrition can be achieved by expanding the variety of foods you eat. Simply put, the more colorful your plate, the more likely that you are getting a wider range of vitamins and nutrients needed for a balanced diet. The Western diet is packed with added sugar, starch, and fat. These fats and sugars are crowding out the protein, fiber, and nutrients your body needs every day for good health, great shape, and the right weight for you. Today, we don't eat enough fruits and vegetables, or whole grains. We eat too much fat and sugar, and we don't eat enough dietary fiber. Why? The processed foods we eat often have many of the natural vitamins, minerals, fiber, and phytonutrients removed from them during the manufacturing process. So they don't offer as much nutrition as healthy foods, like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. At the same time, processed foods tend to have a lot of fat and sugar added to them. Did you know that for the first time in history, there are more overnourished, that is overweight, people in the world than undernourished people? That's more than 2 billion people worldwide. Why has the percentage of obesity risen so dramatically over the years? Is it due to fast food sizes? Are our children becoming lazy due to video games and television? Is technology killing us? Are people just too busy to eat healthy and exercise regularly? Many factors contribute to the rise in obesity. In the Western world, regular meal times are quickly becoming a thing of the past, due in large part to busy schedules and after-school activities. We are all eating more fast foods and processed foods instead of home-cooked meals. Fast food has become a part of our busy lifestyle.
People know that fast food is unhealthy, but because it's affordable, tasty, and convenient, we make it a part of our diet almost every chance we get. Despite these things, people should be aware of the many negative effects of consuming fast food. Since many fast foods are deep fried, they contain lots of calories. Extra salt is added to fast food to preserve it and to add taste. You can consume a whole day's worth of salt in just one fast food meal. Fast food is not as nutrient rich as low fat proteins and healthy carbohydrates, such as fresh fruits, vegetables, or whole grains. By consuming fast food, you may be missing out on essential vitamins and minerals that keep you healthy. The large portion size of fast food also encourages overeating. Instead of an average sized meal, people consume extra large portions. With long stretches of time between breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and busy schedules that interfere with regular meal times, many people suffer an afternoon crash, characterized by hunger and fatigue. To fight that fatigue, people often reach for unhealthy snacks. Whether or not you had a full night of perfect sleep, the afternoon crash or slump seems to be almost unavoidable. Eating small, frequent meals can help maintain a blood sugar level that is more even throughout the day, which means that you do not get hungry between meals and are less likely to gorge at meal times. Glucose is an important energy source needed by all the cells and organs of our bodies, for example, the muscles and the brain. Glucose comes from the food we eat. It is the basic fuel your body uses for energy. Healthy carbohydrates such as fruit, bread, pasta, and cereals are broken down to produce glucose during digestion and absorbed into the bloodstream. The blood glucose level, or blood sugar level, refers to the amount of glucose in the blood. Blood glucose levels normally rise after a meal. The pancreas releases insulin to help transport the sugar from the bloodstream into cells, organs, and tissues where it can be stored or used for energy. Between meals, your glucose level can fall, which can make you feel hungry and tired. Often when this happens, people naturally reach for something sweet to bring the blood sugar level back up. If you eat smaller regular meals and snacks, you can help prevent these drops in blood sugar, which will help you control your eating throughout the day. Here is a great way to get all your meals and snacks at regular times throughout the day and avoid crashes and hunger. An important factor in meal frequency is the timing. You should never ever starve your body. It's better to have a meal every three hours. Waiting longer than three hours may cause your metabolic rate to slow down and your body to start storing fat. Meal frequency and timing are also the most effective nutrition strategy that you can use to speed up your metabolism with minimum investment of your time and effort. Eating at regular times throughout the day will not only prevent the afternoon crash, but may also improve nutrition, improve energy balance, how many calories you consume versus how active you are, help achieve and maintain healthy weight. When you eat more often, you have more opportunities to work healthy foods into your day, so regular meals can help to improve your overall nutrition. Eating small, frequent meals throughout the day can also help you with energy balance. People who skip meals often overeat at the next meal, which can lead to excess calorie intake over the course of the day. When you eat regularly and don't allow yourself to get too hungry, you may be better able to control your calorie intake. And it is more likely that you will achieve and maintain a healthy weight. Each time you eat, your glucose level rises, providing the energy you need to be active. If you skip meals or eat high sugar foods, your blood sugar will drop and your energy levels will go down. It is possible to control the dips in glucose levels in the body by maintaining a healthy diet and exercise program, avoiding high carbohydrate and high sugar foods, and eating small healthy meals at three hour intervals.
Did you know that the brain relies on a supply of glucose from the blood to function? When the brain doesn't get enough glucose, it can make you tired or make it difficult for you to concentrate. Why is this? By taking in a large amount of refined, sugary carbohydrates, you can cause an increase in insulin production, resulting in a rapid removal of sugar from the bloodstream. After an initial buzz, your blood sugar can drop quickly, leading to a slump in your mood. When you eat refined carbohydrates like a donut or pastry, your blood glucose may go up very quickly. Then, a little while after, your blood sugar can drop as your body removes sugar from the bloodstream. Basically, when you ate all those calories in the donut, you fooled your body into thinking a big meal was coming, but it never showed up. Did you know that having small meals throughout the day will make you feel better? One Canadian study gave the same amount of food to two groups of people. The first group ate the food as several small meals throughout the day. The second group ate it as three big meals. The results? Even though both groups ate identical amounts of food, the people who had small meals throughout the day reported that they felt better. Good work! You've completed the first lesson in the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. During the next lesson, we'll talk about the benefits of small, frequent meals. See you at the next meeting!